Right, okay. So, as you know, they're all dry. So, we're going to start the actual um, thing now. Okay, so I went and got my papers and things. There we go. That's what we're doing. All right, I'm, my dried flowers are actually very low stocks, but I might be able to find one anyway. So, um, right, okay. I'm only doing the one. Um, I'm going to do up after that one. I'm going to do one for my roller decks because i thought because i've cut the piece already to fit the size i want so or well, one of them so i cut it and i'm going to take that top off yeah and i came in a bit to fit the sort of size that i wanted because it gets quite big once you start layering up so i shall just copy this No idea what size I've done, really. Oh, five and a half. So I just wanted that sort of mind you, well, you are gonna see it. Right. There we go. And the rest we can tear. And I'll do that one. Okay, right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is sort out the paper that goes behind it so by the look of this that's book page some say brown paper and then another book page all right so i'm going to get that bit done first this i might scuff up a bit around the edges actually um you know i'll never find that thing <laughs> on it oh there it is I'm going to scuff mine up. That isn't, but I am. So. You can do this with scissors as well, which I usually end up doing it with scissors because I usually lose this thing. So I want a bit out of there. That's it. I see this corner here a bit more, I think. So I'm just going to go in a little bit more there. There we go. And then, oh, then ink around. Okay. All right, I'm happy with that, the way that looks. So we need a um, bit of brown paper. Did I bring brown paper? Oh, there's a bit here. That will be all right. So book page first. So I've got three sizes here, I think. So let's have a look. Yes. And the brown paper. Yes. And then a smaller bit. Let's have a look at that. Okay. Yeah. We got it. So that's three bits of paper. Yeah. And I reckon up there. And then exactly the same with the other layer. 
I'm looking at right, okay. I'm gonna take that off there. Yep, that is alright. Come down a bit too much there. I think I went in a bit, but that's alright. And then definitely see that behind. Okay, I'm liking that, right? So I'm going to ink up everything, okay, and then stick it down, all right? I quite like the fact that I, I would like some gesso on here, so I'm going to do that now while I ink up the other bits. I do want a little bit of gesso on here. That will be all right. Okay, I'm not going to waste that. So, get some book pages here. Always got book pages at the side of me, yeah? Right, so just got to dry that off, ink it up, and then I'll layer them together, okay? And then I will be back. Okay, so I stuck all that down and I thought, oh, I'll do some stitching while I was at it. Um, yeah, so... I I stitched all the way around there and then realized that I wanted to needed to tuck the flowers underneath. So hold on a sec. There we go. See, they're sort of like tucked under there. So um I've undone it a little bit now. Okay, I can still get them in there if I wanted to, but I'm I'm gonna stick mine under there and then I'll restitch that bit. Yep. That was just me, just happily stitching away and then thinking, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, anyway, the, the, um, this is out of a file folder, can be some cream card, can be coffee stain card, anything like that. Um, this is, what did I make it? It's like two and a half. I cut one bit of length, cut, cut it two and a half by five and then cut it in half and then done the, the tops for the tag. Okay. Um, that is going to be the for the stamp. That's the Tim Holtz thing. The leaves are come from the Tim Holtz flower dye. That, hold on, um, one of those. Yeah, so I've just used that one and that one, but as um not as a double, you know. I just um take them as they are because I quite like that, and I like the way the texture is in the middle as well. So they're great like that. Not going to worry about. You could go further and <laughs> do it, but I'm not going to. Right. Okay. And this is from the um, the Tim Holtz die as well, but it's an old one, and I don't think it did. They do it anymore. But I have a feeling that Sizzlix. Oh, Sizzlix. Sizzlix. There's a Framelits one now from Tim Holtz, and it's got all these little bits in. Okay, because this is the bit I thought that was great. Uh, hold on, I've gone all blurry. Here we go. Which is on the top of that tag here. Let me put the hole down there. I thought that was absolutely brilliant idea. Love it. So I'm definitely going to do that. Let's do that first. Let's do this tag up first. Okay, it's just out with some scrap card there. Oh. And I found my skeleton leaves, but oh, they're so brittle now. They really are. They're, I'm going to have to do something with them because they're on their last legs, really. Yeah, I thought this is great. Great idea for a whole reinforcer. 
I'm going to put that on there. And then we can make the hole. Oops, I'm going to get a little bit over. That's more central. Hold on, I just want to cloth. Here we go. I'll straighten that up in a minute. I'll just get rid of that excess glue there. It's over ambitious with the glue there. Okay. Right, I'm just going to ink around that now just a little bit. So there they've got um she's tied a little bit tiny bit of string so i'm gonna see if i've got something you know that i've taken apart off of a bit of string so i'm just gonna use that because it's got quite a way to go now if you know what i mean so you could cut these down a little bit actually maybe take off the top a little bit so that there's not so much distance yeah so but that will be all right it's just a little bit of jute str i take jute string apart so and sometimes it just it's not thick enough to use but for things like this because it's not um what can i say it's more of an embellishment yeah you know on a on a card it's not sort of at the top of a journal or anything like that so it doesn't really matter if it's nice and thin so there's only little bits here to build something up. Right. Okay. I'm just seeing if that can go there where you can can see it too. Let's let's do that. There we go. I can't see it now though because <laughs> it's the. <laughs> the window is um in the way if you don't know I mean the wind the light all right let's get these bits out of the way i did bring a bit of this because i thought that might look nice somewhere <laughs> as you do right okay so there's a little bit of they're all a little bit um different so we could do this one here i think i'll do that one here okay right the other thing I found was this this sort of leaf was hidden once it was under there. But I can get away with that. I'll cut it in half. So we do have a top and a bottom, if you know what I mean, like that. And I'm going to cut that off as well because we can use that if we want to. And I'm going to cut that in off as well so i've cut this now into four yeah okay right so that we can actually if you place that like that okay and then it's that down there it's made it look bigger yeah okay right let's do the leaves at the, this bit here okay let's sort that out first okay and then we'll glue that down and that and then go from there let's just get some of these leaves in okay okay yep that's going to be fine there just and that will do considering i messed up really Yeah, they used to do this in card making. I think it was, um, I can never remember her name. It was on Crate and Craft or something like that. And it was, she was um, Tonic Studio. I remember her doing it. And it was like, oh my gosh, such a good idea for intricate things. Okay. But I know people, sometimes people say, you know, about the glue being toxic and everything. I'm okay with it. So... I do want that one to come out a little bit. Okay, right, I'm going to pull this one out once I get the, rid of the glue.
Okay, that's good. Do we want any more? This would look nice for the front of a cover, you know. Um, see, I'm quite liking that, but I'll sort that out in a minute. What have I got for? I could just do it a bit. Um, no, that's out of balance. There we go. Down there. That's better. Yeah, the big one at the top and then going smaller was better. When I put this one there, it looked, the leaf didn't look natural. So put this one, small one down here. We'll be fine. Okay. Now I'll just stick that down for now, but I will stitch straight over that. Okay. I say, don't need to stitch really. It's just me. Me and my sewing machine, you know how I like it. So, you know, I have it there. I'm going to use it. So. Right, let's sort this out now. Okay, so I stitched, just stitched that bit there. Yeah, I'll leave that. I quite like that. And I'm going to stick this down now. And then we can work on, and I'll bring the picture back as well in a minute. I'll just stick this down. Okay. Like that. And then we need to get this underneath, don't we? Where are you? Bit before I forget. I'm terrible at remembering to stick things down. Oh, stuck the wrong one down, haven't I? <laughs> stuck the one I've done. <laughs> oh, we... See how easy it is <laughs> to go wrong? Okay. Corrected. Let's take that off. There we go. Let that dry. We can still use that on the other one. And we need to. Straighten that up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> right. Let's do this bit now. Um, so you just pick your own, whatever you want, your bits of paper. Um, quite like that, actually. Um, I think they've used just tracing paper or something. But I am not sure about this. I have to come in just a little bit more. Oh. Having that poke through like that. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, right. Flower. Oh, let's do this. Let's stamp this first. Okay, I've got some... Um, Okay, right, got some bits of card. Let's hope we can. I'm just going to do like the top one. I'm going to ink up the top. And this is where these little things come in handy because I can. Just do that. And then maybe the bottom one. It doesn't matter anyway, does it, really? If you um, get it on your thing, so you can just wipe it off. <laughs> there you go. Okay, 
now we'll look at the flower for a flower rather i'm going to put mine on with gel medium because um i think if you're going to use this on say the front of a journal or anything like that it has to be protected okay my gonna say like i haven't got very many at all and yeah oh my gosh that's beautiful it doesn't stand out if you know what i mean but it's beautiful it's i mean i quite like i actually really do like that one but let's have a look we'll see what we've got so i've got a purple one there i like these two Sorry, I don't know the names of them. Do you know what? I'm going to go with that. I think that's really pretty. Oh, the Asin with these. My sister does these for me. I can't remember. that, But these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do you know what? I'm a, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to use that one on there. And then I'm going to use the other one on that other one I'm doing. But that's just beautiful that <laughs> yeah I haven't got many that was oh that one's a nice one. Oh gosh tell you what that's gonna go on the other one here we go i know there's no actual color but i'm just wondering if i do put this on with gel medium i'm wondering if i can actually just color that little bit <laughs> just to get give it put a little bit of purple or blue in there Anyway, never done that before, but I'm sure it should work. Or should I do it before? Oh, decisions. <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to do it. <laughs> I should do it on a practice one, shouldn't I? Let's have a pick. Do you know what I am? If I can get in. <laughs> right. Here we go. Oh, that's too nice. Right, let me try it on that one. I know it's going to get most probably you're thinking no don't use watercolor as well i'm sorry <laughs> i'm gonna give it a go it's only on this one here so it's really bad then i know i can't use it so and i do want my little dainty watercolor brush these are quite concentrated anyway so i can pick up you know quite a bit of strength with it i'm just putting a bit of water here I've got my little tiny brush. Um, which one is it? Is that the green? So it's one of these. That's that's that one. This is the blue. I'm gonna have that blue. Oh, can't even see it. <laughs> right, let's get this going in a minute. I know it'd be okay with gel medium on it, but I just thought I'd do it first. Press, uh, it's just quite concentrated, isn't it? Yeah, okay, but it's okay. So I am gonna. Only gen gently, but I know it's going to work. So. You see what I'm doing? I'm just building up the colour very gradually and then taking it away. It's almost like drying it. Okay, just so I can get it darker in the middle and then blending out because I didn't want too much in the middle there. And I'll just pick up a tiny bit of colour now and put that in like that. 
that's going to be great. So I just added that little bit of colour to that one. Okay, so it's going to go there. I'm going to stick it down with gel medium and put it over the top. Now, I use a thicker one for this. It's um, like heavy body structure gel or there, there's this one here. Okay, it's just a lot thicker, but I might not be able to get it out. Because I remember rightly, it wouldn't come out. It was that thick? It wouldn't actually come out of here. <laughs> so give me a moment. I'm going to heat what I do to get release the top. I don't know whether you, you know, I you can put it under hot water, but I usually because I haven't got hot water up here, I heat it up. Here we go. That loosens it. Okay, let's see. Look. Okay, it's really thick. That's I've never been able to get it out, but it's great for any of the like this. Okay, let's have a brush. Right, I'm going to go and leave that dry, okay, and then we can finish off. I might go ahead and do the other one while that's drying, and then I can um, show you both of them at the end. <clears throat> okay, so that's all nice and dry, okay, you can see, um, well, yeah, it is, okay, so that's now on there lovely, okay, so it could be used on the front of a journal, no problem at all. Um, with the fig thing, I did print out, not print, I did stamp out on some cream, but I actually prefer this little bit of um, brown paper, you know, the, the stuff that we use there. So I'm going to put that there instead, make it look like a piece of tape. Okay. Right, I'm just going to let that dry. I've got a couple of um, old journal covers that I never used because they were rubbish. But they, they'll, they'll do for um, just showing you that how it would work on a journal cover. Yeah, look. <laughs> I still could do something with that, but I think it was one of my in my one of my first ones I done, and I'm like, oh, what happened there? It was horrible. And this one, I just haven't finished it. That's all. And that's done when I was doing the leather effect look. So it's quite nice. So it could go on there. Now, if it did go under there, I did get some out. I think something like this would be nice at the back of it. I used to use that a lot as well. I seem to use that now. So I would lay it on there and then place that there it's a bit fiddly to cut but and then do that okay and then cut around i'm holding it with my elbow sorry if i'm in the way All right and you could do it so you could sort of scrunch it up a little bit I'm not going to put it on here. I'm just showing you. So 
I wouldn't use this one. I might use it for something that I cut down and do it that way, really. But it's quite good to have one of these just to show you what things are like. And, um, yeah, I think that would be all right because we could sort of have a bit to manoeuvre if we wanted to. Yeah, I think it needs um, something a little bit more. I mean, on this one, you know, you've got that real good pop of colour, haven't you? Do you see what I mean? But like I said, I, that, I didn't have that in any pressed flowers. These are those little tiny slices, wood slices. I haven't got any of those either. So I'm not really worried about that. If anything, I could put some, maybe some more um, leaves up here. <clears throat> have I got any here? I'm just thinking we could, um, well, I've taken one off of there. Definitely, you know, have something coming down here. So I need another one of those. That actually is quite nice. That's quite a nice shape there. I'm going to put that there, actually. You know, as we're now I'm thinking journal cover, so we can make it look a bit more elaborate. And you could also put journal down here on something, which would work. Yeah, or even up there. Okay, that's the other one. You see, I watercolored that flower there to bring the color out. Okay, just put a bit of green on the leaves here and also put a bit of purple on that. Okay, right, let's have a look. Um, so that's quite big, that one. Um, I haven't got so much a gap there, but. Actually, that worked out there. That's fine. Okay, and definitely, like I say, some leaves there. And then I'll do that and then come back. And that's number two. So, like I said, they both. But that is those done. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. That was quite a long one this time. So, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was lovely. Okay, bye then. Thanks for watching.